Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. And practice shooting uh, uh, standing up offhand. Yes, it's unlikely you're going to make a shot that way. Most people don't, but you might. And if, if the animal's at 50 yards... And if you sat down, you would be like in the bushes, and you got to make that shot standing up. Do that. Also, shooting sticks. Now we have uh, the tripod type shooting sticks, like bog pods. Those work really well. But here's a little secret if you really want to do something interesting, you want to get out there, because look, even shooting off of sticks at 300 yards, you're wobbling all over the place. You just are. But not if you have two sets of sticks. Huh? What do you say? Yeah, two sets of sticks, two sets of little tripods, bog pod type sticks, one in the front, one in the back. Huh. So you got one under the forearm and one under the butt of the rifle. You would be stunned how steady you can be like that. It's just amazing. People say, well, do I really want to walk around with all that? I don't know. You got to make the call on that. But once you try it, you might have a new appreciation for it. And this is especially true. Imagine if there's two of you out hunting all the time, and you're hunting together, you and a buddy. Or you just have two sets of sticks. And whoever's turn it is, who gets the shot, you guys have practiced. Both of you getting your sticks out. If you've got to shoot standing, you can do it that way. You actually could do it you know, even sitting. Obviously, if you have a good bipod, you could just get down prone shoot from a bipod, but there's a technique to that as well. If you're going to be doing that, you need to, I would offer that you probably should get some instruction in it, but also you need to practice it. So what's involved in that? Oh, having the bipod out and actually pressing forward into the bipod, as the legs actually stick out a little bit forward toward the muzzle from the rifle, rather than just balancing the rifle, on the bipod, you're pressing into the bipod with your shoulder and it becomes a little miniature tripod, the two points on the bipod and your shoulder, as opposed to wobbling forward and backward, you're pressed in and it's not moving. How would you learn this stuff? Well, you'd go take a class or you'd go try competitive long range shooting or you get involved with a long range shooting club or just even a rifle shooting club. It is great fun, uh, and of course, as we were talking about earlier, the, the gear you have today. The other thing I like about the gear today, a lot of it does not require a Magnum cartridge, a, long, a real heavy recoiling cartridge. The 6.5 Creedmoor, that's one of the things that's so good about it. You don't get a lot of recoil, and it does the job. I, it just wouldn't bother me in the slightest to be shooting a deer or an elk at 400 yards with a Creedmoor with good bullets. Yes, you can shoot with bigger bullets, certainly. I, we can, I have. Uh, I've always been a fan of the 338 Win Mag, although I don't shoot it much anymore. And it definitely does the job. The big 300 Magnums are amazing if you do your part. 